All right, we are live on CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. I'm Rick Phillips, and tonight we're bringing you uh, Lady Ram Volleyball. They are hosting Southeastern, the Trojans, uh, against the Lady Rams. And uh, we'll have all the action here in about, uh, I don't know, ten and a half minutes to go. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of uh, the teams that we're talking about. Of course, we were here. Uh, we were here Tuesday night when uh, Greenview, you'd have to say, upset Cedarville uh, and uh, got that win uh, the other evening in uh, three sets. Uh, but anyway, uh, the standings, the current standings right now in the uh, Ohio Heritage Conference, the South Conference. Uh, Southeastern Local is leading. Their overall record is 14 and four. Their conference record is 17 and one. Cedarville, they are 14 and four. And their conference record is six and one. And then following them in third place is Greenview with an overall record of 11 and seven and a conference of five and two. So this is an opportunity for uh, Greenview to knock off maybe another number one and climb closer to that top position there. Uh, in fact, if they, uh, if they could do that, I think what would happen, that would propel probably Cedarville back into first place and Southeastern and Greenview would end up tied for second place. But anyway, we'll get all that sorted out here by the end of the, uh, uh, these, uh, this game. Uh, earlier, uh, the Southeastern uh, Trojans beat the Greenview Rams in uh, straight sets 2-0 uh, uh, in uh, junior varsity uh, volleyball here. Um, just to give you a little bit of information as far as what's happening uh, in the near future here. Uh, on Friday, we've got high school football, Chillicothe against Miami Trace. We'll be bringing you that live from Miami Trace Stadium. It'll all start at 6.30 on Campus Nation. And then uh, to back that up, we've got on Saturday, the college football game of the week here on Campus Nation. It'll be Mount St. Joseph versus Defiance College uh, from the uh, Coruscant Stadium in uh, Defiance, Ohio. So we look forward to bringing you that action as well. So high school volleyball tonight, and we've got high school football on Friday night for Miami Trace as Chillicothe comes in to face the uh, Panthers. And then we've got college football, their game of the week, uh, Mount St. Joseph and Defiance on Saturday. Take all these statics off. There we go. So anyway, we've got about seven and a half minutes before we get everything uh, started underway. Uh, the Southeastern Trojans are led by their varsity coach, Rachel Miller, and varsity assistant, Tara Krieg. And of course, uh, with the Greenview Rams, it's head coach, Jan Toby, and varsity assistant coach, Adrian Linville. So, uh, Hats off to those coaches that lead these young women uh, in their endeavors with volleyball. Going to so show you the camera setup as we normally do. The camera you're looking at right now is the camera that we have above down the net. Uh, then we also have a camera from above that we'll show you, and that is from one end of the court. And then finally, the camera that we've got that we actually can adjust and move down here by our table. There you go. Now, I don't have the uh, camera set up for the, uh, for the cast and crew tonight because I'm the only cast and crew. And uh, I am not a volleyball aficionado, aficionado but, but I, I am learning quickly. So uh, I will get better as time goes on. Maybe by this time next season, uh, I'll have it down pat. But uh, we will be having uh, a volleyball uh, game next week at Miami Trace. And I think it'll be followed by a volleyball game 
uh, back here at Greenview to cap the season off. So uh, a couple more games left on our uh, schedule uh, of volleyball here uh, in this 2023 season. We also want to say hello to any of our new visitors that are watching the action uh, from Southeastern. One of the balls went under the stands. I am not crawling under the stands to retrieve that ball. I don't even think the young ladies know that uh, it's under there, but uh, they'll have to get it before they uh, scrunch it if, if they close the stands up. I've got the uh, starting, uh, starting lineups for both schools. Uh, or the, the rosters for both school, schools. Number one, Bailey Bloom. Number two, Ali Truman. Number four, Taylor Warner. Number five, Claire Toby. Number seven, Aaron Garden, Gardner. And number nine, Chloe Cal. Number 10, Emma Holm. Number 11, Emma Hassid. Number 13, Kennedy Cummings. Number 15, Ava Moore. Number three, Aubrey Atley. And number 22, Ava Fawcett for the Greenview Rams. And then for the Southeastern Trojans, number one, Sophie Wilson. Number two, senior Mary Ann Solfridge. Number three, Kylie Corbett. Number four, Hannah Olofen. Number five, Abby Davis. Number six, Maddie Watson. Number seven, senior Katie Tehan. Uh, number nine, senior Harley Davis. Number 11, Lindsay Hudson. Number 12, Allie Lewis. Number 15, Mia Nelson. Number 20, Addie Wilt. Number 24, senior Sarah Sulfridge. So I guess we have two Sulfridges that are both seniors, so they must be twins. I have not actually looked out there to see if I can. Uh, and uh, the girls from Greenview, uh, as, is, as we had on Tuesday, they're wearing their pink for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Week. And uh, so they're wearing those unis again tonight. Very bright. Got about three minutes before we get underway here. I have yet to be hit by a ball so far. I guess we'll have to wait to see. <laughs> I would say if I look at the varsity for Greenview and the varsity for Southeastern, it appears to me that Greenview has them uh, in the height department. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, that, uh, that is a total advantage. We've seen in the past where shorter teams have actually dominated, but uh, at least for the, uh, for the height totals, it looks like the Rams have the advantage. I know it's a rainy night out there. Hey, everyone from uh, Southeastern, if you're out there and you're watching Campus Nation and you like this broadcast, don't forget to uh, to uh, to go to the the uh, share button and share the uh, stream. Let people know that uh, this is on, so that uh, other students and other faculty and other uh, uh, parents and that can uh, can watch the stream tonight as well. Enjoy it along with you. And, of course, subscribe to our Campus Nation YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified any time that we uh, go on the air to provide any kind of sports coverage. Uh, we do other things, uh, band and things like that occasionally, but uh, that'll uh, keep you informed whenever we're on the air as far as bringing high school, college, semi-pro, and also the Ohio State Buckeyes club sports that we do as well on Campus Nation.
I'm not going to get into a lot of uh, technical uh, terminology. I'm picking it up as I go along here. And we've also got a second mic that we have that's live and will allow the announcer, who does a very good job of describing some of the action, the kills and things like that, and calling the numbers. Uh, we'll, we'll let him uh, inform you of that information. I'll occasionally tell you, but uh, for the most part, uh, we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to ruin all the ambiance that we have here on Campus Station with our volleyball game tonight. Once again, it's the best at varsity level, the best of five. So whoever can win three out of five of the sets wins the game, wins the match, wins the... All right, they're wrapping up. We've just got seconds just before start. Let's get noisy. <laughs> the Board of Education Superintendent, Principal and Athletic Director of Greenview High School welcome you to Greenview Schools for tonight's match between our guests from Southeastern and our Greenview Rams. In order to make tonight's contest as enjoyable as possible, please represent your school and community in a positive and respectful manner. Please show courtesy and respect for all fans, officials, coaches, players, and administrators. Let's make tonight's contest great by remembering to respect the game. Poor behavior may result in removal from the gymnasium. The officials for this game have been assigned according to the procedures adopted by the Ohio, Ohio High School Athletic Association. Tonight's officials are Stanley Patterson and Greg Schubert. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in order to honor our country and those serving around the world that protect our freedoms, please stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
The Trojans and the Rams tonight on CampusNation.com. The Internet Sports Authority. And I'm Rick Phillips bringing you all the action. Number 11, Emma Hassett, will be uh, serving to start tonight's event. Ace by Emma Hassett. And that's an ace, it's one to nothing. Greenview on the board first. Another ace, she's on fire. Three to nothing, Greenview. Early run by the Rams, four to nothing. Blocked. Four to one. Trojan substitution, number 11, Lindsay Hudson, replacing 15, Mia Nelson. So number two, Marianne Solfridge. And that is an ace. Four to two. Three. Point Greenview, five to three. Aaron Gardner will be uh, serving number seven for the Rams. Long. Five to four. Number nine, Lily Cole, in the game for Warner. 
six to four. Eva Moore will be back serving for the Rams. Number 15. Two girls for Southeastern sort of get in each other's way. Point Ram, seven to four. For the first set here. Live from Jamestown, Ohio. Kept alive, it's over. A lot of great action here. Oh, Southeastern. Seven to five, number 12 dropping back to serve for, that'll be Allie Lewis for Southeastern for the Trojans. Claire Toby with the kill there. Eight to five. Bailey Bloom in, she will be serving. Number one. Oh. Point Greenview. Bloom back to serve again. That's an ace. <laughs> the Rams have doubled up on the Trojans, 10 to five. Timeout, Southeastern, 12 to five. And the student section goes wild. Looks like it's about a, maybe a nine to a dozen young men here, so imagine that. <laughs> Listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority with Rick Phillips, live from Greenview High School on the campus, uh, right here uh, with uh, Varsity Girls Volleyball. Uh, 12 to 5 is the score. The Rams ahead right now, the Trojans. We're in the first set. Ready for another serve here. A little bit of English on it. Five goes to six. It's now 12 to six. Southeastern will be serving. Dropping back will be number 15. And that's Mia Nelson serving. Oh, what a kill. Molly Call. Dropping back to serve, number seven, Evelyn Gardner. Aaron Gardner. 14 to six. Better catch my score up here. So that was Aaron Gardner with that point. She's dropping back to serve again. 
she was on fire Tuesday. She also got an invite to homecoming that evening. We had it live on Campus Nation. That's in. 15 to six. Rams are on fire. Aaron Gardner back to serve again. That's out. Fifteen to seven is the score. And number seven, So serving for Southeastern, number one, Sophie Wilson. Oh, wrong direction. Fifteen to eight. Sophie back dropping back to serve again. Hopes to duplicate that effort. Nice little tap down. Oh, they saved it. So that is a point for Southeastern. 15 to nine. Sophie Wilson again serving. That is long. Greenview scores the point, 16 to nine. And uh, Chloe Cal will uh, be serving. <laughs> Number four, Hannah O'Loughlin will be back to serve. Moore with that kill. Hassett is serving for the Rams. They're up 17 to 10 right now. That was uncontested. Mary Ann Solfridge back to serve. She's a senior. Oh, that was sneaky. Point Greenview. Aaron Gardner back to serve for the Rams. We're leading 18 to 11. Oh, they tried to block it. Another point for Greenview, 20 to 11. Southeastern's taking another timeout. They lead the league currently, and they seem a little shell-shocked. But this team from Greenview is hungry. They're in third place, and they'd like to move up the rung of the ladder there. So just a reminder, this Friday evening, live from Miami Trace High School, Miami Trace Stadium, the Chillicothe Cavaliers come in to face the Miami Trace Panthers. It's homecoming for Miami Trace, and that game is going to be at 6.30, and it'll be live on CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. Back to live action now. Greenview up 20 to 11 in the first set. Remember, you've got to get to 25 and win by two to win the set.
wrong way. Good save. Oh, it's out. Greenville, Greenview up 21 to 11 now. Oh, they got a 10 point lead, double digit. Aaron Gardner still serving for the Rams. Oh. A lot of action at the net. Yeah. 21 to 12 is the score now. And back to serve will be number 24, Sarah Solfridge. That's an ace. One thirteen. Twenty one fourteen. Salford still serving. Good serve, that's an ace. 21 to 15. Jan Toby likes to talk this out, wants to settle things down, 21 to 15. The Rams still in the lead, but uh, their lead has been cut into by the Trojans. Another reminder, this Saturday, we've got college football here on Campus Nation, live from Justin F. Corsell Stadium in Defiance, Mount St. Joseph and Defiance. That's going to be a good game because they're both very good football teams. So catch it live on Campus Nation. Back to regular action now with the Rams still in the lead by 6, 21 to 15 over Southeastern's Trojans. They're going to be serving now. Good serve. Selfridge <laughs> back to serve again. They're on a run. And the point keeps coming. 21 to 17. Nice little tip. Played off the net. Good one. Uh, and it's out. Greenview finally breaks the spell. 22 to 17. This is a nail biter here in this first set. Underneath the net. Twenty-two to eighteen. Allie Lewis dropping back to serve for Southeastern. That was in. Aaron Gardner with the kill there. 23 to 18. Just two points away from this first set win. Got to bear down now. Number one, Bailey Bloom will be back to serve for the uh, Rams. Oh, 
on the outside. It's 24 to 18, set point here. Bailey Bloom back to serve for hopefully this first win. And that's out. So your final score in the first set, 25 to 18. Rams over the Trojans. Gonna have a three minute intermission here. And uh, As we said earlier in the uh, broadcast, uh, Southeastern Local, they are 14-4 and 7-1 and and in the conference. That's the Ohio Heritage South Conference. Uh, Cedarville follows up at 14-4 and 6-1 and and in the conference. Uh, Southeastern has won two in a row. Uh, Cedarville, on the other hand, has lost two in a row, and one of those this past Tuesday right here. Uh, against the uh, Rams and Greenview, they have a one-game winning streak as well. They're 11 and seven and five and two in the conference. So once again, depending on what happens this evening, they could move up a rung on that ladder and be in second place rather than third. I want to remind you to subscribe to the. YouTube channel of Campus Nation. That way you'll be alerted to all the action when it starts on your uh, cell phone or on your computer at home. Uh, and uh, you'll be able to catch any of the action as far as sports. We do high school. We do college. We do semi-pro. We also do Ohio State Buckeyes club sports. And we'll be getting back into action with Ohio State. I think they're going to be playing the junior varsity uh, team from... Uh, uh, I don't, well, I know they're going to be doing one of the games at, um, see if I can look it up here. Right now they're undefeated. They've won four straight games. They've only had seven points in four games scored against them. Um, so, an incredible streak here put together by the uh, Ohio State club football team. And that team has won two national championships in the last four years. And they look invincible this year. Sophie Wilson will be back for the uh, Trojans to serve for this second set. Set the score. And Southeastern has one point. All tied up one all. Even more with the kill for the uh, Rams. Suffrage in to uh, serve for the Trojans. Ice tap. Oh, 
<laughs> Tied up to all. Number seven, Aaron Gardner will be serving for the Rams. That is a point. Three to two Rams. Into the net. Tied up three all. Charlie Davis serving. Oh, what a kill. It's four to three Rams. Out. Five to three Rams. Eva Moore back to serve for the Rams, number 15. Out. Six to three, so must have touched a uh, Trojan on its way out. Point Southeastern. Ram six, Trojans four. Dropping back number 15, Mia Nelson to serve. Oh, that was low to the net. That was great return. And blocked. Ladies in pink, seven. Trojans, four. Bailey Bloom back to serve for the Rams. Into the net. Point Southeastern. Trojan substitutions with seven, KDT hand. Kylie Corbett will be dropping back for the uh, Trojans to serve. There's the serve. Oh, nice. Nice. Great kill. Suffrage with that kill. A climb within one point, seven six. Oh, nice one. Number four, Hannah O'Laughlin. Kylie Corbett back to serve again. Seven all.
Chloe Call with that uh, number seven back to serve, Aaron Gardner. Another point. Nine to seven. Oh, great serve. Great serve. Sally Truman with that ace. She's back to serve again for the Rams. She keeps it low to the net. I love that serve. And another point, 11-7. We got a timeout by the Trojans. Trojans want to talk this over again. Uh, going over the schedule for the Ohio State Buckeyes club sport football team, uh, their first game we uh, were not at. That was away in uh, in Michigan. They won 69 to nothing there at Oakland, and then we brought you the game from Holland Field at Wright State University, and uh, Ohio State won 48 to nothing in that event. And then there was a forfeit to uh, Pitt. The Panthers, uh, they were to come in and play the Buckeyes. They're in Columbus, and they forfeited. So uh, there was, I think they, they award like two points for some reason. And then uh, just uh, last night, Ohio State, they won 46-7. to uh, This was the Ohio Northern University Polar Bear Junior Varsity team. Not even a club team. This was junior varsity. They beat them 46 to seven last night. Uh, they're off this coming week uh, of well, actually a couple weeks. Their next game is going to be Denison, October the 22nd, and we'll bring that to you live on Campus Nation. 12 to seven point Rams. Another point. Truman, Truman gets that ace there for the Rams. Good save. These girls are hustling out there. Block. 14 to seven, Greenview doubling up again on the Trojans. We're in the second set. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. Rams are on a run. Allie Truman back to serve again. He has the Trojans reeling here. Trojans just don't have an answer. It's out. 16 to eight. Serving for the Trojans, number 12, Ali Lewis. Good dink. That's a point for Southeastern. 16 to nine. Back to serve, number 12, Ali Lewis.
Goodrick, oh, into the net. Southeastern on a short run here. It's 16 to 10 now. This is fun. <laughs> These girls are really doing a great job. Southeastern with the point, 16 to 11. Allie Lewis, that's a timeout for Greenview. Once again, this Friday night, live homecoming at Miami Trace. The Cavaliers of Chillicothe come in to face the Panthers of Miami Trace. That's Friday, October the 6th, tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. right here on CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. And we'll have the, the crew there. I'm not sure who it'll all in. in, in Joe Davis will definitely be there. I'll be there. Uh, we know the Dean's going to be there. Hopefully we'll have a... Cody uh, Snyder in, but uh, I'm not sure because he has not confirmed yet. He may just want to enjoy homecoming. Back to live action. Trojans are serving. They're down 16 to 11 in the second set. Greenview won the first set. They're up 1 0. And they score that point. Oh, another low to the net serve. She's really good. Gets the point at the uh, objection to uh, Southeastern, 17 to 12. I did not get a really clear look at where that ball landed. But it's apparent that most of the fans from Southeastern did not like the call. Now they are talking it over with the ref trying to see if one of the other refs actually clearly saw. But the uh, line keeper, he was pretty adamant about the fact that that ball was in. Thank you. Guess they're trying to, the point is reversed. The point is reversed and given to Southeastern. It is 16 to 13, the Trojans. Oh. Oh. Some close ones here. It's 
Southeastern now pulling within two. It's 16 to 14. gets the point, 17 to 14. Things got a little heated there. These girls are passionate about their volleyball. And you can't blame them. These girls on both sides are just working, 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 save. Ball's back over. Is where Greenview's height in some cases helps it. Back to serve. Another point for the Rams, 19 to 14. Chloe Cow back to uh, serve again. She's doing a great job. Another point for Greenview, 20 to 14, a timeout, Trojans. Trojans with that timeout, and we tell you about college football, our game of the week this Saturday from Defiance, Ohio, Mount St. Joseph. Mount St. Joseph, the uh, Cougars, Lions. Mount St. Joseph, Lions. You know, we used to do a lot of Mount St. Joseph football uh, there at Mount St. Joseph. We, it's been a few years. It's actually been uh, prior to COVID when we did the games. But anyway, uh, we will be back this time at Defiance to bring you those two powerhouse teams. And uh, Mount St. Joe has won the... Uh, the league last year, and they're trying to do it again this year. But oh, Defiance is an up-and-coming football program. Well, we call with that serve again. Oh. Tide rolls for the Rams, 21 to 14. A lot of noise coming. Oh, good, good. And. Truman with the kill, 22 to 14. The Rams are feeling it here. They want this second set to go with that first set win. Greenview gets the point. I guess the net, net might have been touched. 23 to 14. I think the Trojans are just a bit restless. That's a point for the Trojans. 23 to 15, dropping back to serve for them, senior Mary Ann Suffrage. Doesn't go over. 23 to 16. Suffrage back to serve again. Three to 17. Could this be a comeback by the uh, Trojans? Yeah. 
This play is intense. Oh! And still! Oh, it's out! It's out! Oh no, that was a kill. 20, 24 by seven, uh, 24 to 17. Another good serve, another good serve. Is that a point? Okay, so it's 24 to 17 or 25. I don't see the score changing. All right, so second set goes to Greenview. They now lead two sets to none. We'll reset the score. I never ch changed the uh, set, but we'll do that now, even though we're a set behind. So this will be the third set. Never did put the 25 on the scoreboard from the last set. It's 24 to 17 still on the scoreboard. They'll have to clear it anyway and reset it for the uh, third set. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority, with Rick Phillips here bringing you the action tonight. And it's been a wild one. I'll tell you, these, these teams have been very intense the way they've been going at, uh, at play tonight. Trojans are not used to losing. They need to see if they can claw back into this with maybe a win in the third set. We'll find out. Stay tuned. I guess they had to get some new batteries for the... Uh, for the microphone. That's why there's been a slight pause in the action tonight. And I guess we're ready. Nice block. Oh, good kill. Good kill by number two, Marianne Suffage. Very good kill. And she's going to go back to serve, as fate always usually has it. So number seven will be serving Aaron Gardner for the Rams. Yeah. 
Southeastern gets the point. Trojans two, Rams one in this third set. Sarah Suffridge. Suffridge will be back to serve, number 24, senior. And I think we've pretty much figured out that she has a twin sister that also plays on the team, and that it would be uh, Mary Ann Suffridge. Number nine, Chloe Paul, back in three. Oh, they're awarding the point to the Trojans. Southeastern three, Greenview two. So we've had some controversy again. <laughs> These girls are passionate about their sport. They are gonna fight for every point. That was number nine, Harley Davis. Southeastern up four to two now. Davis back to serve again. Oh, bring you with the point. Four to three. Number 10, Emma Hall, and number one, Bailey Bloom, in for the Rams, replacing Emma Hassan and number five, Claire Toby. Ba Bailey Bloom will be back to serve for the Rams. Here we go. That was long. It's five to three. Trojans over the Rams in the third set. They're down, no sets to two. Allie Truman back to serve. Salfridge with the uh, kill there. The uh, Trojans now have six and Greenview Rams four. And this is the new server. Number one, Sophie Wilson. Rock. Six to five. Rams aren't going away. Chloe Call back to uh, do the serving. Six all. Call back to uh, serve again. Hit the net. So Greenview pulls out ahead, seven to six here. Call back to uh, serve again for the Rams. Another block. Greenview with the point. Oh, nope, the point's going to Southeastern. So. 
Seven all. Allie Lewis back for the uh, Trojans to serve. Point Trojans, eight to seven they lead. They desperately need a win in this third set. Even more with the uh, even more with the kill. Eight to eight. Emma Hassan will be serving for the Rams. Been a lot of questions about reaching over the net. And of course, Greenview is much taller overall than Southeastern. And so the Wait, the point is awarded to Green Greenview. Uh, the tallest girl on Southeastern's side, number nine, uh, she got called for the net refraction. Uh, Southeastern substitution, 11, Lindsay Hudson. It's 10 to nine, Southeastern trails by one. Harley Davis back. No, number two, this is uh, Marianne Suffrage. <laughs> Suffrage back again. It's 10 all. Trojans have tied this matchup. Blocked. Oh, still over. These girls will not give up on a ball. Oh, oh. Aaron Gardner will be back to serve for the Rams. Rams are up 11 to 10. This, this set is going back and forth. 11 all now. Sarah Salfridge serving for the Trojans. Tied 11 all. Serving for the Rams. Back and forth we go, tied up 12 to 12. Number nine, Harley Davis back 
She is, I would say, one of the taller young ladies on the Trojans team. Thirteen to twelve. In the home of Bailey Bloom in the Rams. Back to serve for the Rams. Number one, Bailey Bloom. Trojans with that score. 14 to 13, number 12, Ali, oh no, number 15, Mia Nelson back to serve. Another call. Girls at Southeastern. They're about ready to jump on this last judge, but he called it in their favor. <laughs> we got a timeout. 14 all. We're going to have to escort the, this judge back to his car tonight. <laughs> the, those, girls, the, the, those girls from Southeastern, they looked at him like they were about ready to kill him. <laughs> no, they were. <laughs> Fourteen all. You're watching CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. I'm Rick Phillips. <laughs> uh, we're just streaming the game. Oh, it's broadcasting Oh yeah, it's our switcher. Yeah, yeah. We're we're catching all your uh, antics. <laughs> It'll be easier for them to come back and look at the video and then expel all of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a very rowdy uh, cheering section for these young Ram <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Radio with a point, 15 to 14. Well, as you would expect, with it being as close as it is, and also with these two teams being at the top of the heap in the conference, uh, there's a lot of tension. 15 all. Sophie Wilson back to serve for the Trojans. View up by one, 16 to 15. Volley call with the serve. Oh! Even more with that little dink. 17 to 15. Oh, good kill. Allie Lewis will be serving for the Trojans. 17 to 15, they trail by two. Ah, nice one. Seventeen all. Oh, 
Oh, point Southeastern. Put away. There it is. 19-17. Southeastern, they're feeling like they've got a little bit of breathing room, and indeed the Rams take a timeout. It's Friday, October the 6th. That's tomorrow night at 6:30. Campus Nation will be on the air with the Chillicothe Miami Trace football game uh, that'll get set at 6.30. It's homecoming at Miami Trace. So tune in tomorrow night for all the action on Campus Nation. You like football, you'll like Campus Nation football. Allie Lewis will be back to serve for the Trojans. They're up now 19 to 17 in this third set. Trying to cling to this win in this set if they possibly can and force this to a fourth set. Whereas the Greenview team would love to just sweep the Southeastern team. Out. 19-18. It'll be back to serve for the uh, for the Rams. Trojans up twenty to eighteen. Merrick Selfridge is uh, back to serve for the uh, Trojans. Twenty-one to eighteen. Could they pull this out? They certainly hope so. Oh, nice point. For Going back to serve for the Rams, Aaron Gardner. They're down now by two points. See if they can come back in. Pull this close. There's a point. Twenty-one twenty. Southeastern up by one. A slim point separates these two teams. Twenty-two to twenty. That was out. Selfridge's will be serving. That's number twenty-four. Point lead now for the Trojans. Trying to put this third set away. That point, 24-20. 
24-21. That ball was straight at me. Don't forget to su subscribe to the Campus Nation YouTube channel. You'll get all this great action all the time. is set 25 21 Trojans over the Rams and we are going to go to a fourth set now And it's, it's what you would expect from uh, two of the uh, top three teams in the conference. Greenview still leads two sets to one set. And once again, you've got to get at least three sets to win the match, and that would be the best of five. Certainly no one is going anywhere. And it's a pretty dreary, uh, I guess you would say fall evening. Uh, rain was in the forecast and it certainly uh, played out that there was rain. It is a rainy night here in Ohio, <laughs> especially in Jamestown, Ohio. like Hannah O'Loughlin for the uh, Trojans. She's fairly tall as well. All right, so number two, Marianne Sulfridge will be serving for the Trojans to begin this fourth set. Greenview up two sets to one. A point for Southeastern. They're, they're sending the message right now, we're going to five sets, folks. <laughs> In the net, one all. And a Hassid with the server there. Still kept alive by Greenview. Back over the net. And that is a point for Southeastern. Sarah Selfridge back to serve. Three to one, Southeastern.
Locked. Three to two, Greenview. Aaron Gardner to serve. <laughs> oh, good kill there by number 15, Eva Moore. Tied up three all. Aaron Gardner to serve. That's an ace. Aaron Gardner with the ace. She's back to serve again. Four to three Greenview. It's out, four to four. Charlie Davis with serve, number nine. Oh, good move. Five to four, Rams up on the Trojans currently. Good serve, good serve. That's an ace. Even more with that ace. Six to four. Put away. Seven to four, or six to five, excuse me. <laughs> Mia Nelson back. Is that Mia? Yes. Point Southeastern tied up six all. Bailey Bloom will be serving for the Rams. It's out. Seven all. Seven, Katie and back in for Southeastern. Kylie Corbett, is that her? Yes, it is. to seven, Rams over the Trojans. Good 
No sooner did I speak. It's eight to eight. Number 12 back, Allie Lewis. She'll be serving for the Trojans. Nice put away. Harley Davis put that one away. These girls are excited. Oh, good, good hit. Nine all. We're in the uh, fourth set. Greenview leads two sets to one. Harley <laughs> Davis with that put away. Suffrage back to serve. That's Marianne. Southeastern leads 10 to 9. Point for Southeastern, 11 to nine. Marianne back to serve. Good block. Twelve to nine. Trying to get the scoreboard straightened out. Thirteen to nine. I think people were a little bit. They're going to take the point. Oh, they're going to. The Rams are taking a timeout. I thought on that last point that uh, Greenview thought that since they were pointing to the scoreboard and they were going to correct it, they didn't really respond uh, like that. It was an actual uh, point that they were responding to. And uh, Southeastern scored that point with the Rams sort of flat footed. I think that's what they were talking about. But it is 13 to 9 here in the fourth set. Greenview, two sets to one over the Trojans. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. Here's truly Rick Phillips here. Don't forget, tomorrow night, homecoming at uh, Panthers uh, uh, Stadium. They're, they're going to be celebrating homecoming, but they're also going to be playing Chillicothe. The Cavaliers will be in, and we'll have all that action tomorrow night on Campus Nation. Greenview with the point, 13 to 10. You know, I was just thinking, as good as these two teams are, they don't usually go very deep into five sets. So they probably are getting a little winded, a little tired. Good block. By Greenview, 13 to 11.
Emma Hassett will be serving for the Rams. out 13 to 12 pass it to serve again fourteen Trojans twelve Rams. Number 24 senior Sarah Selfridge back to serve again for the Trojans. Fifteen to twelve. Ace by Sarah Selfridge. Sarah gets the ace. Fifteen to thirteen, Rams within two. Back to serve for the Rams. Number seven, Aaron Gardner. Nice block. Way up in the stands. <laughs> 15 to 14. Aaron Gardner to serve again. That's long. 16 to 14. Back to serve for the uh, Trojans. Number nine. Senior Harley Davis. Nice block. Nice block. Greenview with the point. It's now Southeastern 16, Greenview 15. Back to serve number. 15, Ava Moore. Point 17 to 15. Oh, nice one. Number two, Mary Ann Suffrage. With the kill. 18 to 15. Oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Claire Toby with that sneaky little one that spun off to the... Uh, to the right there. 18 to 16. Bailey Bloom will be back to serve for the Rams. 
Oh. 18 to 17. Rams are creeping up on the Trojans. Bloom back to serve again. That'll be Southeastern's point, 19 to 17. Kylie Corbett back to serve for the uh, Trojans. Point Rams. 19 to 18. Allie Truman back to serve. That's an ace. We're all tied up, 19 all. Truman back to serve again. Another great serve, low to the net. And that's going to be a Trojan point. 20 to 19, Trojans in that slim lead. Back to serve number 12, Allie Lewis. to 19. Timeout. Rams. This has been one epic struggle here. Trojans are trying to win this set so that they can go to a fifth and final set to determine who's going to win this game. Allie Lewis will be back to serve for the Trojans. Everybody getting ready. It's gonna be wild. Twenty-two to nineteen. Lewis back. Twenty-three to nineteen. He's. <laughs> Good play at the net, good play at the net. Number nine, Harley Davis. Twenty-four twenty. Chloe Call, she'll be serving. This could be set point here. Oh, a foul. And that awards it. The fans were very quick to react to point it out. That was a service foul, it looked like. So, 
that set, set number four, 25-20 in favor of the Trojans. And we indeedy are going to a fifth set. Now, as I recall, the fifth set, I think you only go to 20 and, and you have to win by two. Uh, let me look it up, see if I can confirm that. Fifteen points. So the fifth set is played to fifteen points. You still have to win by two. So the magic number here, fifteen. But we definitely have to say that the momentum is now on the side of the Trojans. They're trying to keep that number one spot alive there in the conference. Been a very entertaining game tonight. Senior Mary Ann Suffrage, number two, will be back to serve in this fifth and final set. Jan Toby has talked to her team. First two sets went to Greenview. Second two sets went to Southeastern. And only time will tell who wins this fifth and final set. We're going to 15. There's your serve. And that is a point for Southeastern. Ace. Point Greenview. Emma Hassett back to serve for Greenview. They're down two to one. We're in the fifth set, going to 15. out off of a ram Sarah Selfridge back to, she also a senior number 24 three to two Aaron Gardner she's been very good at serving tonight, Aaron. Uh, yeah. 
Harley Davis with that kill. She's back to serve. Number nine, Senior Davis. <laughs> okay. Southeastern gets the point, five to two. Davis with the serve again. Up. Six to two. Trying to bring it home for Southeastern. Oh, that is incredible that it went over. Seven to two. It's all been Southeastern. We got a timeout. Jan wants to talk this over with the girls. You're watching CampusNation.com. The Internet Sports Authority. We've got an excited crowd from Southeastern over there. They love their girls. Let's see what we can do. See if the uh, if the Greenview crew can come back and put some points on the board. Right now, this fifth set's been mostly all Southeastern. Harley Davis still to serve. There we go. out point Greenview three to seven three to seven and Eva Moore will be serving for the Rams into the net seven to four is the tide shifting Even more. Good block. Still over. <laughs> it is electrifying here in Greenview's gym. Out. Seven to five. <laughs> Heart attack city. Heart attack city, folks. <laughs> Eva Moore will be serving again, down by two, trying to pull her team. And it's good. Oh. <laughs> Not tough. As the ball flipped around and it hit the speaker, but it is now seven to six. What is it? Goes to Greenview, seven all. Seven up. Pulls ahead. You can see the stand shaking. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Was that a test of the emergency broadcast system? <laughs> Oh, 
We're having fun tonight here from Jamestown, Ohio. We're in the fifth set. We're going to 15 points. You must win by two, but the score is eight to seven, Greenview. There we go. Eva Moore still the server for Greenview. It's good. Nine to seven, Greenview. Moore with the serve. Yelling, the screaming, and there he goes. 10 to seven. Greenview's on a little run here with Eva Moore. Another low one. That's an ace. 11 to seven, and timeout by the Trojans. The crowd is going crazy. This time it's the celebrating of the Rams. Seven to seven. I think we're getting signals from the uh, from the Trojans. <laughs> Long. Eleven eight. Eleven eight's the score. Doesn't make it over, 11-9. Point Southeastern. Wait. So, I guess we'll have to, they're gonna have to talk us over. All right. It is 12-9, Greenview. But now we've, now we've got, Line judge is talking with the refs. Southeastern very vocal in their. So the point is agreed to. Greenview does take the point. Number seven, uh, Aaron Gardner will be serving. No, number one. Bailey Bloom will be serving for the Rams. We're going to 15. Point, Southeastern, 12 to 10. Dropping back to serve Sophie Wilson, number one.
Good block. Goff, 12 to 11. We are coming down to the wire, folks. This has been intense, folks. Intense. Oh, hit her in the face. 13 to 11. Two more points. Greenview can wrap this up. Number two, Ali Truman will be back trying to put some points on the board for Greenview. This is match point, folks. Set point, match point. 14 to 11, one more point, and Greenview has won this struggle. But the Trojans say no, no, no. Fourteen to twelve. Good kill, number nine, Harley Davis, 14 to 13. You must win by two. Dropping back, number 12. Allie Lewis will be serving when we come back out of this timeout. So let's set this up, folks. First two sets, Greenview. Second two sets, Southeastern. Fifth set, 14-13. We're going to 15. You must win by two, so it could be that we'll go a little longer. But anyway, this is for all the marbles right here. Teams will come out of timeout, and <whistles> Allie Lewis will be serving, trying to bring this match, this game even. This fifth set. All right, folks, here it is. And that is game, set, match. 15 to 13, Greenview wins. You could not have better entertainment. Two fantastic teams here on the court tonight. And Greenview has done the inevitable. They've beaten the number one team in the conference now. I want to remind you, tomorrow night we're going to be at uh, Miami Trace for football, 6.30 on Campus Nation. Tune in tomorrow. And from Greenview, we bid you adieu.